Hi guys, welcome to our first On One Studios podcast. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be our first one. We're super excited to finally get this off the ground. Um, we've been kind of working on this for a while. It's gonna be called Between Us Foos, where we're gonna be talking about everything studio related, um, dance related, Bay Area related, related, related. So <laughs> um, my name is Kevin Brace. I'm gonna be your host for today. And Between Us Foos, let's talk about it. Hey guys, um, welcome to Between Us Foos. Um, so, um, this is our first one ever. It's <laughs> pretty exciting. Um, Ooh, yeah. I don't, like, I don't know how often we're gonna be doing these, but we're just super excited to finally get these off the ground and running. Um, but first of all, Today's episode is sponsored by Hello Hungry. Hello Hungry is a brand focused on promoting ambition and intrinsic motivation. They offer clothing to remind people to work on their goals and they offer content creation in support of entrepreneurs everywhere. So follow them on Instagram at HelloXHungry and they interview everyday people about what they're hungry for in life. So DM them right now. And in other words, cool. <laughs> so what is Between Us Foos? Um, I mean, for a while now, like, especially here with us at Almond Studios, we like to find new ways to reach out to the community and connect to the community. Um, and so through dance and obviously through classes and stuff and just kind of seeing everyone on a day to day, it's kind of cool to be able to connect with them. Um, but we rarely get a chance to really like have a discussion and talk to them. And so I feel like this is a good way for us to kind of have the, like let the studio have a voice, um, but then also give everyone else the opportunity to really like connect back with us as well. So it's kind of cool um, that we're able to do it. But who are we, right? Like <laughs> I think that's kind of a big question, right? Um, a lot of people kind of see us behind the scenes, but um, it's kind of cool that we're able to connect. So um, we'll kind of just go down the line. Um, just go ahead and say your name and what you do for Oos, uh, starting whichever side. <laughs> okay, I'll start. Um... My name is Donita. Um, I am one of the, I would say, managing partners of the studio. I mainly dabble in op operations. I am the kids programs um, program manager also. And um, other than that, I just like to kind of go into every little crevice of our organization and kind of see and like how I can be involved and helped um, for example podcasts like yeah. right now <laughs> cool and um, my name is Kevin I am also one of the managing partners here at the studio um, I kind of like dough I, we pretty much wear multiple hats um, especially with us being a startup um, there's a lot of different jobs that we have to kind of cover um, I help out with managing the production team so the the team it's all around behind the cameras and in front of the cameras that are um, being able to put this together today. Um, I also help out manage some of the um, programs, including Urban Program and the K-pop program. Um, and uh, generally, yeah, just doing a lot of board member, you know, managing duties. partners duties. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Usu's social media manager. I basically manage and post everything on our platforms from Facebook, Instagram, um, sometimes YouTube. Um, let's see. I just basically help share and promote whatever's going on here in the studio. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon, and I help out back end with uh, a lot of the graphics that you guys see. Um, everything from the flyers, the graph, the animation graphics, uh, anything that these guys need to market their stuff or stuff for the classes is uh, basically created uh, by me and Carly and Dari, uh, <laughs> our little graphics team. Shout uh, graphics. Yeah, shout out to graphics team. Yep. <laughs> cool, so um, yeah, like we all kind of have our own roles to play here at the studio and stuff. And we're gonna now essentially be um, kind of rotating hosts. Um, I don't know if we're all gonna be here every single week or other week or whatever, <laughs> however often we do these things. But yeah, we're gonna be kind of the main hosts as of right now. Um, and yeah, so we're super excited to, especially in the future when we start having guests and stuff, like this fly right here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah, so we're super excited um, to kind of share with you guys today. But first of all, like, how did everyone get involved with the studio? I mean, I know that we all have kind of our own journeys and stuff, and we rarely talk about this, actually, with each other. So let's start this way first now. Yeah, like, how For did you sure. get involved, Brandon? <laughs> so I actually um, start. I feel like I started like anyone else did, just as a dancer, right? 
Um, I started taking Monday Night Workshop because um, it was like the only thing here around in San Jose that had that they were able to you guys were able to bring like a lot of like well-known choreographers mm -hmm. for like an affordable price and stuff like that so uh yeah i pretty much just started uh as a dancer coming to take workshops and then i would come so often that like you just naturally start to know people's faces and like i started to know everyone's faces here that uh worked so um it wasn't until what well, uh, it was like 20 it was like four, 16, four years ago? 17, yeah, three years ago? Near Kickstarter. Kickstarter, what was oh, that? Oh, yeah. 16? Oh, no. Yeah, near si 16. 16? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was 20, it wasn't until it was 2016. I, st I took Monday Night Workshop since you guys were at, um, I forgot the... the old, 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 old seasons. Or old Studio seasons. 10, even? No? The okay. second one. The second one. <laughs> uh, that season, for seasons. sure. Old <laughs> seasons. Okay, yeah. Not old, old seasons. Old seasons. <laughs> uh, so I started back in like... Uh, whatever year that was right mm -hmm. and so it wasn't until 2016 though it was when um i reached out to carly uh head of the visual department uh and to ask if i could like start like interning and start helping you guys out and uh in order to like also like develop my skills in like graphic design right because that was my uh passion and so or still is my passion mm -hmm. so uh i reached out to her she said yes, <laughs> uh, and here we are. <laughs> How many times had you taught Monday Night Workshop before joining the team? Because I think after you only really taught yeah. it once. Um, three. Three times. As, yeah, three times total. Yeah. Cool. I, I don't think I took your, took your classes <laughs> yet. So. No, you did. Cool. Oh, I did? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Good to know. All right, and what about you, Miss um, Kim? Let's see. So in terms of Monday Night Workshop, I remember taking a Monday Night Workshop way back when, yeah, when you guys were at the old studio, and it was a Dom Bird class, from oh. what I remember. Um, but I remember always hearing about you guys um, through Kevin, of course, because of Chocolate Factory, and knowing all of you guys from Chocolate Factory, I always knew you guys were um, always doing that on the side. And so I think, yeah, towards the end of your guys' Kickstarter, Kevin Nguyen, <laughs> who's head of marketing, um, was just like, hey, Kim, do you want to come on and, like, you know, and that way you can also like take dance classes and like be a part of the community. Cause I always felt like I had to kind of like give up and leave dance for a little bit and come back again. And so in this way, like I could kind of find um, a stable footing of where it was at. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I'm here. I'm like here, like creating content, like being on the creative side and like um, dabbling in um, what works and what probably doesn't work. <laughs> to help um, with the studio, so that's basically it. So yeah. I've been with you guys for what three? We're gonna say three years. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> around the same time you were here. Yeah, around, around. Yeah, 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 I came yeah. on around with Brian. Yeah. Before you did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you did. You knew how to do front desk stuff before I knew. How to oh, do yeah. It. oh yeah. Honestly, yeah. I was like, Kim, help you, me. That's true. <laughs> Monday night you. workshop. Both of you were at the the front desk yeah. Yeah. for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Just like a, a desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, crazy. Yeah. Um, okay, my turn, huh? Um, so it's interesting. It's like it's kind of hard to like really pinpoint exactly when we me and me Ando got involved with Monday, our yeah. on one studios because it wasn't even really on one studios and Monday Night Workshop wasn't even that widely known yet. I don't think we even had a summer edition yet. Um, we were just dancing together on Chocolate Factory, um, and Gino just happened to be directing it at the time, and so he um, found a group of people that was like multi-talented so we had like a videographer we had like a graphic carly with graphics um me and Do just kind of being kind of natural leaders i guess um an organization and stuff so like he kind of just put this team together um and he's back <laughs> he's, like, he's um, our nick fury he is our nick fury <laughs> oh that's a good yeah one. i know we tried to like pinpoint like which one of us managing partners is which but we don't really know who um but yeah um so yeah, like um, it was it was just really just a meeting back at Old Susan's, <laughs> um, to pretty much talk about like his dream and like what to make, <laughs> um, what to make of um, this kind of project that he was putting together. And honestly, we didn't even know that it was going to end in um, this. Like yeah, like yeah. having an actual place. I think we were we really just wanted to give um, dancers and dance. Um, community like pretty much a lot more opportunities more than just um, maybe joining a team or doing Monday Night Workshop 
And so... <laughs> this freaking fly, man. Man. Uh, but yeah, like, he um, pretty much just brought us together and stuff, and it was just kind of cool um, to kind of see the project grow from just... Um, host more classes, right? We used to have these things called Wednesday Weeklies taught mm-hmm. by Chris Managa and Tad Rocka and one, Francis Terrell. One, one Saturday oh, morning. One Saturday morning, like yeah, that. for our beginners. OSM, yeah. Yeah, and so, like, it was it was a bunch of experiments and stuff, and I think Summer Edition was um, the first big project that we were a part of and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, as especially as we started um, incorporating and stuff and just kind of really... Um, getting, I guess, legitimized. I don't know what the word is. It's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, um, as we kind of started to get a little bit more on paper, I guess I'll say, um, like uh, the position and my role here at the studio has just kind of expanded since then. So yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, that was pretty much my recount of it. So I know <laughs> that's pretty much your journey too. Was well, I don't really know. No, like... actually, you came in before I did. So you, oh. um, I'm like, a, I'm a little bit, younger so then i came into chocolate factory later came Mm -hmm. into monday night later and at first i was just helping out with fundraisers to be honest like i was trying to raise funds so we can do more things just for the dance team and also monday night workshop um you know so like literally i would just be like all right let's do car washes like um those yogurt land fundraisers, <laughs> like those type of stuff. And then I officially joined the team just really randomly, like super, I don't even know when it was. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I came in and didn't have a defined role. I was just there for support admin really. And then that was like 2013, right? Or 2014. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and then pretty much the same thing, you know, I just kind of followed along. And at the time, um, it was, I had to juggle both like college and like, you know, working mm-hmm. on and being in a dance team and also doing Monday nights. So there's times where I had to kind of like take a step back from the organization. But I was all, since back then it was just once a week, it wasn't mm-hmm. hard to like show up and stuff. But I do remember, um, that that was part of my journey i think just kind of like um focusing on other things and then kind of coming back to to kind of feel what you miss type of thing because mm. yeah that was, there was a time and then i was like okay this is where i belong type of thing like Ooh. you know what i'm saying yeah. but yeah <laughs> the that's kind of like the the first few steps of the path that i took mm. i remember when the studio first opened i felt like it was weird that we were here every day Right, like we were this like, one? yeah, like this this space. We were like, oh, I'm here on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, weird. Not just Monday. Right? Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> it's like wait a minute. But now we're literally here like every day, right? And it's kind of just been like, oh, nine to five, then boom, studio, and yeah. then go home at one o'clock and oh, sleep. And do like it all this over is again. like, I feel like it's like home. Yeah. To like, like yeah, like Pretty even much. like the way we decorated the back and everything <laughs> like legit feels like a home it's like yeah i room. agree yeah. Mm-hmm. it's like if i can't focus at home i come here yeah um. <laughs> like home home and yeah i can't then i come here to because i feel more like motivated and productive in yeah. a space where we all kind of like um built together you know yeah so i just feel a sense of growth and moving forward when i work in here <laughs> physically <laughs> true um so yeah like um did you guys know each other like before um, everything like before on one studios obviously <laughs> like you know we, <laughs> yeah i don't know how to transition that but <laughs> like yeah, yeah did, did how did we, we know did we know each Insert other before swipe. <laughs> um did we know each other before like you said it was a perfect storm right mm-hmm. it's cool because we were all kind of friends we were all dancing um kind like it was always because of dance though right exactly yeah, like, yeah. yeah. that's what I brought so. us together yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, i think the first time i saw kim or met i don't know it didn't technically mean meet but like the first time i saw you was on stage it's like you were on stage oh. and you were doing like a duet with like walter oh. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, yeah. Yeah. it was that little solo <laughs> for the uh, warrior, warrior set. set yeah <laughs> yeah that was the first time i ever saw you oh. and then i was just like oh okay cool oh yeah it was, okay, yeah i remember now. <laughs> were you on CF? there? Were you on there? I, I was. Yes. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Uh, so. But yeah, I mean, 
yeah, we we knew each other before. I think that's what makes this team kind of really great. Is like we already had that established mm-hmm. friendship, mm-hmm. right? Because when you when you go to a workplace, um, yeah, you know, you you have they do so many they they spend a lot of time and energy to make that culture. Mm-hmm. But here, it's already kind of built, so it's easier to work together, and that's great. Like I've known Kevin for like. More than ten years, yeah, um, definitely. probably. Fourteen, <laughs> I think, oh. maybe. Oh wow, that's long. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I've kind of just been like, we we just complement each other so well in both the workplace and on stage, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so it's crazy. Our like vibes just mesh well together, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I mean, you guys, I met him. <laughs> in cf yeah. right and then brandon i met you when you joined kickstarter yeah. definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean i knew of, of you of course everyone knows right. of you <laughs> <laughs> everyone <laughs> 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 but but then you know we officially no, yeah, yeah. Met i could say the same for you guys too i've always i've always known kevin like <laughs> just from a distance you know yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I like competitions and stuff like both everyone um oh right you would always it's just like the community. You, yeah, the community. Mm-hmm. You would just always see each other. You wouldn't like say hi, but because you'd see each other like mm-hmm. every so often, mm-hmm. you like do kind of get familiar with people's yeah. faces. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like me and Kim, though, we went to high school together. Yeah. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Evie. <laughs> so yeah, Creek. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> but I think it was tribes. Yeah, it was, it was tribes, tribes, right? Wow. Yeah. So there's this thing called Battle of the Tribes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's like Battle of the Classes, but with like schools. Oh, you guys were part of that. Yeah. yeah. We were too. You guys were too? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What the Weird. heck? <laughs> <laughs> well then. Yeah. I only. I, well, it was my first time doing anything like dance. That was mm. the first time oh. I started dancing. Yeah. 2010, uh, Battle of the Tribes, Evergreen Valley High School. That was at the U. Oh, oh so my senior year oh, and you were junior? Wait. Oh, wow. Yeah. That? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot yeah. you're older than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was like the first thing I, uh, like, dived into mm-hmm. in terms of dance. And ever since then, uh, I haven't stopped. But that was when I first met Kim. And I feel like if it wasn't for such, I would say our group was very, like, yeah, family Mm-hmm. They did their best to like, you know, be a cohesive unit. For yeah, sure. we had those like webcam chats. Yeah, back dang. in the day, what? like ten screens. That's yeah, oh, did you guys have that yeah. talk, talk box? And then Brandon oh. had his like little <laughs> yeah, guitar. Oh. <laughs> All the girls were like oh. the long hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we had the. Were you the one that had like you the had little had Jedi a rat tail? You had a rat tail. Yeah. 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 yeah, I don't know. Insert picture. I know. Pull it up. <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding. But yeah, that's when uh, I first met Kim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. It's what a, what a small world. I know. But I guess like you guys came into Battle of the Tribes after Kevin and I was Let part her, of it. Yeah, because yeah, oh. like 2009 was our peak. Oh, like, and then guys? after that, we kind of just oh. phased out. But that's crazy. Yeah. We would have been like in the same lane. I know. Yeah. We were just different times. Exactly. <laughs> I felt like that's like a, the same for a lot of the stories here at the studio for the other people too. It's like yeah. well, honestly. The dance community is so intertwined that it's just like you don't realize you're in the same place or even share the same stage um, at certain points. So it's kind of interesting. I think I was actually at that Battle of the Tribes, though. Um, I was judging, though. I was mm, really. I think I was was it at Silver yeah. Creek? Uh, it was, it was at so. Silver Creek. Yeah. 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 Thanks, thanks for the win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think one. I literally was the judge for the games oh. for like oh, okay. sort of EV. And then I was like, should I just like say they're disqualified? <laughs> what? Wow. I know. Okay. 10 years later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Evie. Oh, man. <laughs> I, but I didn't, so you guys won that year. It's all good. <laughs> Honorable. Um, but yeah, like, um, so dance has obviously been a part of our lives for like a really long time. Like, um, and because of it, we've been super intertwined. Um, so like, how do you, how is dance kind of in, currently incorporated in your lives? Like, how do you like to keep it in your lives and stuff? I know that all of us don't really share the stage as often nowadays. And so, um, how has dance still kind of been injected into your guys' lives? You know what's great is like some like yesterday, some most of us took class. You know, oh, yeah. that oh, yeah. was great. I think that's pretty intensive. Yeah, which was mm-hmm. yesterday. That, in, in, in terms of sharing a stage, I think the closest we can ever get is sharing a dance room. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Unless we put together a show, we'll see. Hey. But you know, that's kind of like what I enjoyed yesterday. But 
uh, I don't know. Like I, I, I keep dance in my life a lot, like relevant in multiple ways. Obviously, the studio. Mm. Like, do you mean like dancing? Or yeah, like I mean, dance? yeah, like, like dance in general. Because I think we all kind of know that we're that we won't um, be dancing forever. I mean, maybe <laughs> Vivian might be the exception. <laughs> like, you know, because she's goal. yeah, she, that's the goal though. But who knows if our knees are gonna stay as good <laughs> as hers for uh, you know what I mean? So like, in general, in dance in general, like um, mm-hmm. just how you've been able to um, kind of keep it in your lives and stuff. Um, yeah, well, you know, the studio is definitely something. I see dance every day, like every single day. I see mm-hmm. dance, and that helps when you're around something so often. Like, um, it obviously makes a mark, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and then in terms of dancing. I think because I'm around dance so much, it's just so easy to just go back in anytime yeah. I want if I manage my time well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I just like literally Monday to Sunday, I see dance, you know, mm-hmm. in the studio because like even if I'm not at the studio, it's on my social media. Like you know, I'm still around it so much mm-hmm. that it it's just hard to not make it relevant you know what i'm saying right. <laughs> unless i'm like on vacation which i did experience you know i was out for two weeks and i was like kind of imagining like man like this is how it is like if i'm not at the studio all the time or if i don't have a studio you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and so it's like grateful to see that every day just the fact that i see it it makes such a big difference mm-hmm. you know like compared to people that have to travel to like mm-hmm. make it to class yeah. you know we're, stuff like that we're super privileged in yeah. that regard that we are all of us are really surrounded by it all yeah. the time mm-hmm. that it's, it's at our fingertips it starts like yeah. environmentally to mm-hmm. me you know mm-hmm. that makes sense no I like yesterday I was talking to one of the students because like I saw her ID card and she mm-hmm. was like from Connecticut and I was like oh Connecticut Damn. cool wow I was just like so how's the dance community over there and she was just like absent <laughs> yeah, wow. dance exactly. and I was like well you're in luck being here in the Bay Area because she's here for school and all that. And I was like, you're take the most, make the most out of your time here for yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. Right. So Th- that was great seeing that mm-hmm. come so far. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. I think, was it the time that you had a cousin in Canada or something that had heard about oh, yeah, Monday that was, night? That was oh, a trip. Yeah. yeah. And then you were like, oh yeah, I helped run that. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I it's remember weird. That I like kid don't know how far the reach is sometimes, right. you mm-hmm. know? So like, crazy that is like you know starstruck yeah. <laughs> like for me i was like really that's crazy yeah um and then Brand, i know you're taking a, a break from dance right now right um, correct so like how um do you consider dance still to be like i guess a part of your life you know like it like obviously it's it's not completely gone mm-hmm. but it, does it feel different the fact that you've officially taken a break it's for sure different um i don't even though I am taking a break from like dancing, I don't think I'm taking a break from dance because of like everything that's going on here, like being a part of the studio. Um, I don't think that like that like um, you know. Well, <laughs> 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 like, I'm gonna, like like even though I'm like, I'm not dancing myself, like I'm still doing a lot of things involving myself in dance Mm -hmm. and so like in that sense i'm not really taking a break from dance but i am taking a break from like dancing yeah yeah which is something that i didn't really like realize until now but um (laughs) yeah uh i do i feel like breaks are healthy though Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. when i do think about it like ever since i did start dancing like back in high school i never really stopped Uh, It was always one thing to the next thing to the next thing and it's like, you know kid in the candy store kind of thing where you 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 get so involved with something it becomes super like you become very excited and passionate and you just want to do it every day Uh, so I feel like um, ever since I started dancing like it's always been like a nonstop journey for me to just grow and be the best that I can be and like reach my goals as a dancer, right? It was always a from high school it was always like okay i gotta i go i want to join a dance team now so then i would work hard to join a dance team right Mm -hmm. and then uh it was a junior team right and so after that it's like okay i want to be on an adult team now so i worked hard to do that right and then uh 
you know, so on and so forth. And so I feel like I've done a lot and I've completed a lot of my goals um, as a dancer. And so I feel like it was it was kind of time to just take a step back and like uh, take my foot off the, the gas for a while so that I can still enjoy it later on. I don't want to like mm -hmm. burn my fuel out and mm -hmm. like it becomes something that's like redundant and mundane, which is something that it kind of did feel mm -hmm. for a while. Um, especially when you're like dancing on a competitive team and all that stuff and you're also doing like jobs. So uh, it becomes, it at a point it did become sort of like just work, but uh, I think uh, taking a break, taking a step back and just like having a breath of fresh air to just relax will allow you to, um, you know, just enjoy it mm. for longer, right? Right. Like I said, the goal is Vivian. Dance ball. <laughs> she is. <laughs> yeah. Vivian, Vivian is life goals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Vivian is, I don't, Vivian is a, um, she's like a mom, right? <laughs> but she's like still dancing. She comes to take class mm -hmm. for those of you who don't like, know. Like literally every single day. Every single yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole community pretty much knows her, knows her face, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But outside yeah. even the Bay Area, like honestly, like I feel like she can go down in history books. Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, everyone really knows her. Like so. Shout outs to you, Vivian. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. Cool. Well, you, Kim. Um, um, keeping dance in your life, studio, like, do you still feel connected to dance? Um, mm -hmm. What's your kind of experience with it? Mm, with dance. It's like this long-standing on and off relationship. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> you know? Um, and, but I feel like ever since I've joined the studio, being a part of this team, like I said before, um, I feel like I've finally found this stable footing. Um, like what Donita says, like being here in the studio, I'm here typically on Tuesdays and Thursdays because we have meetings, you know, marketing and production. And like, I always take the time to try to like step out mm -hmm. of our little box back mm -hmm. there and to come out and see like how the community is doing, you know, seeing the teachers and seeing how um, the, student, the students are um, reacting to that. And like just seeing everyone, because like I know a couple of these mentors, you know, I've like grown up with some, like oh, we've gone yeah. to high school together for some, like Jalen, we mm -hmm. went to high school together, you know? Shout and like, to Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Jalen. Um, and like dancing with other people and just seeing how much they've grown over the past couple of years. Cause I started dancing, I would say like through Battle of the Tribes. Like I started mm. maybe in um, 20, 2007, yeah, I think. Oh. Yeah, and so I've kind of been like in and out of the dance community. Like I joined my fair share of dance teams, you know, CF I think was my longest standing in terms of like my dance career. I was there for like three seasons. And then I think at my peak, I kind of was just like, I need to focus on my priorities of what I wanted to do with my life. And dance for me has kind of been this, um, my TLC, mm -hmm. I would say. You know, um, within my work week, because I work with kids, I take a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy to work with kids as well. Um, when I come here, like it's my breathing space. It's, um, it's my form of relaxation. And I wish, with all the time that I've spent here at the studio, I wish I took more advantage of taking classes. I know this past season for us. I, on Thursdays, I tried to take as many like <laughs> classes before our meetings. Like mm -hmm. I was taking Urban One, before Jessica came on, I was mm -hmm. taking Gerald's oh. class yeah. nonstop. Cause I told myself, I was like, if I'm here, I need to like, you know, put some work in, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, I feel like being here, we kind of tend to forget and we like, we're so focused on what we can do and all this effort that we can do to making dance great for everyone else. And then for our mm -hmm. own selves, it's kind of like on the back burner, right? And so I think within the, the past weeks of just doing that and like meeting everyone else, all the other students and like talking to them about their dance journeys, I kind of reevaluated myself. I was just like, hmm, like I love dance yeah. as much as everyone else. But for me, I think it's allowing myself that comfortable spot of saying like, okay, dance is there and I can take that opportunity yeah. and appreciate it for what it is. So yeah, I think that's- I feel you on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. like definitely recently I just, um, I was taking like classes when the season started or summer. I was just like, you know, I just want to see all these new mentors that we have. And like I started taking classes like 
more often and so I met a lot of our students and like I would see them like three times a week and it's built this kind of like I even saw them outside of the studio Mm -hmm. like Friday night I was like hey you take (laughs) classes right and I I was like dude like like dance is really more than just dance Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. I was thinking like you know I'm really into this um thing it's called passion planner but um <laughs> like the the ceo like i i when i was researching her like she 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 got into whatever she's doing she thought about art and was like you know i didn't really love art as like because of art and she said she loves art because she loves the conversations about art she mm-hmm. loves the friendships around art she loves the collaboration about art you know, nice. mm-hmm. so I thought I, I plugged in dance in those sentences. And I was like, I think mm-hmm. that's the same thing with me. Like, I love dance in a way that like, even if I'm not dancing on stage, I still love the collaboration right. around dance, like the community around dance, it's like the, all these things. It's like, the you know, people. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. the people. Yeah. It's the, the creative, like cognitive, like thing that happens around dance. That's that's more of what I'm passionate about. Mm-hmm. And of course, dance is there as a TLC. Yeah. And um, lately, as I've been in the dance room, I've been noticing that. Mm-hmm. But definitely, that's what dance is in my life. You know, and mm-hmm. I try to keep it relevant. And I'm grateful I have the studio to to ha- yeah. you know to do that and stuff. Yeah. And I, what do I, you do? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I still feel like I'm super in it right now because obviously I'm. Um, Directing. Directing both Chocolate Factory and Gobstoppers, which is the junior team for Chocolate Factory. And it's like, it's it's so crazy that I'm, it's interesting though, because I feel like I'm seeing the community change through that and stuff. I'm starting to see a shift. Um, not I'm still trying to interpret what the shift is overall, but it, I think that's really cool to be able to kind of see it on both ends where on the back end we're kind of working and just like um, reacting almost to like the things that we're seeing in front of us. And so I, I like being able to kind of operate on both fronts at the moment. Um, it is super tiring and stuff. That's why coffee is amazing. <laughs> but, <laughs> or, or, um, sleep. I, or sleep. Or sleep. Shout outs you know, to coffee. Shout outs to <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to coffee. Thank you, interns. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm very much still in. I, I guess involved with the community. Um, I de- definitely still take classes and stuff. Um, try to take as much as I can. Still on that whole like trying to be the best I can be and grow for my team and you know inspire everyone. Like I'm still very much in that mode, right? And I think I'm almost in this place where I kind of want to discover a little bit more with it and stuff and so it, it's curious I'm not 100% sure where my path is going to go in terms of my relationship with dance as a whole um, mm-hmm. I'm not fully sure yet um, I'm still I'm, I guess I'm in that kind of midlife dance crisis <laughs> right so <laughs> mid dance crisis so yeah like um, but it's still a journey that I'm still excited to take though I think regardless like um, regardless of where it ends up or taking me I don't really see it going away anytime soon it, it just might take that passion might take different form yeah, right. I think that's a good way to put it. I think that's great, you know, just following the flow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, obviously, dance has affected all our lives, like super significantly. But like, what do you, where do you think you would be without it? Like, what do you, th- what would you be doing? You know, like I feel like this is a question that like everyone asks each other and stuff all the time. Because I honestly feel like I would be a nurse. <laughs> I, like, it just is what it is, right? Like, I think, um, yeah, like I, I think I would have just honestly fallen in my parents like Dang. want for me and Ooh. stuff you would yeah. do nursing but you did business yeah yeah but i think it's because i think it's because i i felt like there was oh. a, like a studio on the horizon if you. it wasn't with mm. um on studios organization mm-hmm. it would have been my own somewhere else. baby gotcha. yeah i guess wow. so um you've been a nurse i would have been a nurse because you're obviously passionate about other things what would be that other oh, passion you know yeah. if you mm. you didn't have dance good um, question Oh, actually, okay. Maybe I'll change my answer. <laughs> because I think I might be a um, choir director at a high school. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I was okay. really passionate about that. We did competitions. We went to Chicago and got first place um, back in 09 and stuff. I think I honestly would have been Can doing that. Can you sing that. for us? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> but, yeah, like, it's, um, I probably would be doing that. Um, 
Uh, but I think at the time it was like 08, right? When I was a senior, 08, 09. And that was like the recession and like, <laughs> you know, choir teachers were getting like laid off. Oh, and I was like, okay, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. So Man. yeah, like- um, Everything is affected. Yeah, everything got, everything got affected. So mm. yeah, but I might've still done it though. Like who knows? Yeah, something art related. Art related, yeah, I, okay, yeah, I think yeah. so. But anyone else? I was about to say, um, kind of, I think it's kind of similar to what you're saying, um, with the whole thing like of like what your parents want you to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of funny in my situation because my mom and dad actually, uh, when I was young, pushed me to do like some kind of computer graphics oh, stuff. Wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And me, being the rebellious teenager, was always like. <laughs> No, mom. <laughs> I do what I want. So, like, I never wanted to do that at all. And I just was kind of um, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, I, at a point, wanted to do, like, animation. Uh, and so I, I started as an animation major at school. And then, uh, man, uh, I was in the, the, the lab for, like, several hours just trying to get a man, a uh, well, stick figure guy, walk from left to right on the page. Hmm. And I was in there for like the whole day and I think it took me about like 50 pages of like paper mm -hmm. just to create that like three to five second clip. Mm. Oh wow. And I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> so then uh, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna give computer graphics a try. So I switched my uh, major to uh, graphic design and then uh, fell in love with it, <laughs> and now here I am, listening to my mom and dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's like I had to like take my own path like to path there. to get there, you know? Yeah. Makes but sense. I just it's funny how like it just worked out that way. But that um, yeah, I think if I wasn't, or was it if I didn't have dance, or if I if, was it? if yeah. dance didn't affect your life, if, if it wasn't a factor in your life, where would you be? I think. Honestly, I might be like making music. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kim knows. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I used to be in a band in high school. So uh, we were like really, we tried our best to like make that a reality, but people's uh, lives, you know, <laughs> people grow apart yeah. and stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that I would definitely go for like the music, kind of similar to you, right. uh, go for the musical route. Yeah. Mm. Got it. Cool. Um, so, Kim, Donita, um, what would yeah, you be so, without dance? Well, since we're on a the theme of music right now, <laughs> oh, honestly, like, I mean, I, I, this is just like a, like, I'm throwing it out there, but I think I would be doing music too because um, I make music, like, I already make music at the moment. Um, I play a lot of instruments, and I just like the arrangement, mm. like, arranging music as well. So. Mm. Like I don't necessarily be want I want to be a singer or like you know mm -hmm. in a band. I just like making pr like producing music. It's kind of like choreographing, but in a m more in a different form. In a different yeah. form, yeah. I don't know how I. That's what I would do. That's what that would be my third thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think if I didn't have dance, I also like to teach. Like I I like um working with kids in general and mm -hmm. um in one way just seeing growth in the younger generation mm -hmm. so i would probably maybe i could put two and two together and just be like teach music to kids you know that'd be <laughs> cool um but yeah i think that's where my life would be without dance it still kind of has art in it and um like other skills that i think i would do well um but you know because what did my parents want me to do they, they didn't really care honestly and um I, i'm blessed in that way where i i changed my major like five times in college oh, and wow. it was fine so eventually um they just they're just they just want me to find something i like and stable you know even to this day that's 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 all they ask um but i wonder what they would they'd probably be happy i think my parents actually they are also musicians mm -hmm. so from like i want to teach music i think they'll be happy with that too um but yeah that's yeah. i think that's that's my what my life would have been without dance. Mm. You guys didn't know. She composed the background music for Ooze Dailies, if did. you guys haven't watched those yet. <laughs> oh, first, yeah. first season. First season yeah. of Ooze Dailies. Mm. <laughs> More to come. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, you, without dance, I honestly think I'd be a hermit. 
(laughs) (laughs) I feel like my work week is just so busy. Like I said, this is my TLC. Like I probably would allow myself to just be in my room and just be on my own. But honestly, like on the same trend of what you guys are saying with music, I was like the biggest band geek in high school. I played like a couple of instruments, yeah. But like if I didn't stumble upon Battle of the Tribes and I didn't like meet the people who I met, like yeah, I think it would be a little bit different, you know? Um, I went to college for um, speech language pathology. Mm -hmm. So my, what I do for work, um, my day job is working with kids with special needs. And so I think I would probably be in a different art form. Yeah, like music. Or in college, I did take an acting class. I and I've always you. kind of been interested in that, like, not maybe like on stage, because I'm very reserved and I'm kind of shy in, in that sense. And dance has kind of like brought me out of that. Um, and so I am sort of interested in voice acting as well. And so like being a part of the production team and doing all this, this is like you. things that I, I would be interested in if dance wasn't so prolific right now. We could definitely make so. like our own animation cartoon just oh, with yeah? the four of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying like, dude, that can be the. Part. That's the next step. That's the next step. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, do you guys have any last kind of like things? Um, just anything you want anyone else to know about you guys <laughs> that's important to you? Um. Uh, hmm. I mean, think about it. It's okay if nothing. Uh, I mean, we don't really have too yeah. much <laughs> else to talk about. I'm just excited. I just feel yeah. this like new, like wind. Wind, I guess. <laughs> like <laughs> not just in the studio, but in the community. And mm. I'm excited to kind of like be involved in the community yeah. and kind of like uplift San Jose even more. You know what I'm mm. saying? And like we are turning over to a new generation like mm-hmm. 2020 guys oh my god <laughs> oh my gosh and that's we're, why we're i think like now. this change is scary but it's also exciting in a way like what yeah. what's in store you know yeah. mm-hmm. i'm excited to see what who who we bring mm-hmm. in this table and what topics yeah. we can delve into to mm-hmm. kind of open up a new like you know horizon for us you know so that's my thoughts mm-hmm. In general, <laughs> <laughs> I think bouncing off that too. I yeah, I have to say I'm the same. I'm like excited. It's like vague in my mind, but I'm I know I'm excited for it. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. uh, like especially with all the things that we have planned or things we want to do. Uh, we just want to like be better, right, at what we do, mm-hmm. and like be better for like also like the community that we're here for. Mm-hmm. And right. I think uh, I it's like it's work, but it's like what we're passionate about mm. and so that's why I feel like um we enjoy it it's, uh, it's fulfilling mm-hmm. right I think that's the right word um and I think um yeah like no matter what like the environment changes to or like whatever generations or like so on and so forth it's gonna be I think we're always gonna enjoy like figuring out I feel like we're all natural like problem solvers mm-hmm. and I think uh <laughs> we just enjoy it you know and so like with the changing environments with like the new generation of dancers and stuff i feel like i feel like uh no matter what happens like we're just gonna be ready and we're gonna like always you know do the best we can and gonna make cool stuff and (laughs) Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. so i mean i think that just wraps about (laughs) about wraps it up (laughs) with between us foods thank you guys so much for tuning in so we want to hear from you guys (laughs) Um, pretty much, what's your relationship with Ooze? What, what was your first class that you took here? How long have you guys known about us? Um, where would you be without dance? Um, go ahead and comment. Um, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, which I think is this is where it's coming up, um, we want to hear your guys' story. So thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Later. Peace. Don't be a stranger. Insert explosion. <laughs>